Francis would like me to let you know that what you see here on the wall is from the inmates that we're speaking from. What I want you to know about me is that I'm my mama's boy. You may not think about my tough exterior, but on the inside, I'm a jelly roll that believes in love and kindness, just like she taught me. Although I backslid a few times on the windy road to get there. Let me take you back in time when me and my sister at age eight used to run loose through the shops and arcades of the Whitfield County Mall when my mother worked back-to-back -back jobs at Payless and American Cookie Company. I was that one with the trendy look that mama didn't have to fuss over. Short braids up top and the rest shaved all around. Now in that mall, I was a poser with my Samuel L. Jackson stands, <laughs> hands deep in long, bulky jeans, a ratty, natty, hand-me-down, cross-color shirt topped off with oversized knockoff Air Jordans. <laughs> now you would think I would stand out, but I knew how to vanish into the dark doors of the arcade, that dungeon where I dare to fight demons and dragons all day, where only the Saturday night street fighter, King Roster, can see me, grab me, jump up 15 feet, backflip, and slam me straight down to the mat. I enjoyed that, just to see how he can do it, that swagger he packed in his victory shrug. Now when I turned 10, mama let me run the streets where fighting was real. Well, me and my stepbrothers would skip school, hop trains, and crush our rivals. She hoped that I would survive that life without totaling myself. But I became the clown in my family's act, whose downfall began when I hijacked a car at age 12, went on a joyride that ended in a crash that took my friend's life and sent me to juvenile jail for vehicular manslaughter. Now, I remember being in that room with a twitch that just couldn't be calmed. Listening to the jeering clatter in my head, you idiot, you idiot, you idiot. Eyes lowered, not looking up or down. Thinking if I moved, I'd break apart. And that went on until one night mama came in my dreams and patted me on my shoulder with that tender spirited hand that motioned me to turn my back on the clown and a street life full of clowns and I followed into the darkness and I quit holding the pranksters in high regards. Now while I was in prison, mama held on to my release until it became truth itself. All the while I listened to the two pops, keep your head up and hang on, be strong. She passed her time by collecting secrets from neighbors, tips that held marriages together and put a golden silence on kids like myself that took the wrong turn and forgot the nightly habit of getting down on our knees. Mm. Now those years of detention, a picture hung on my wall, calling up memories. Closing my eyes, I can smell the shepherd's pie in the kitchen, tasting the double doozy cookies that she would bring home from work, and felt the beauty and ugliness of a hard and painful childhood that could only be soothed by a mother with bright eyes and her words. If you find yourself in a hole, hand yourself a rope and climb out of it. Looking at her picture, I searched her pupils to find a path to peace and deliberately imagined her waiting for me to come home. Sometimes in my dreams, she would come to me and say, come here, son, let me sing you a song. Let me help you find hope as you have born pain. 